Dear students, welcome to the third session of Modern Physics and Quantum Mechanics. In my first session, I was talking about properties of wave function. So let me elaborate property number five here. The mental picture that all of us have for a wave is something that repeatedly or periodically changes from maximum to minimum and vice versa. For example, in water waves, height of the water surface varies periodically. In sound waves, it is pressure and in electromagnetic waves, it is electric and magnetic field vectors. And these variations are represented by a sinusoidal curve. This is the equation for a progressive wave. Y is a function of x that is position and time t and it is a sin omega t minus kx. Now the question, in matter waves, what is that varies periodically? It is wave function. It is a measure of probability of finding the particle at a given position at a given instant of time. Now look at this. If psi equals 0 for some x and t, then it means object is not at all there at that instant. If psi equals 1 means then object is very much there, definitely there. Now what if psi equals 0 0.2? Does it mean only 20% of the object is present? No. If you make 100 attempts, there is a chance of finding the complete object 20 times. That is the meaning of wave function and probability of finding the particle. Wave function itself do not have direct physical significance, but it is very much required to ascertain linear momentum, angular momentum and energy of the particle or energy of the body at a given time. Hence, it should not be imaginary and it should not be negative. But we will see in our subsequent discussions that equation for psi contains complex term. Then how to overcome this? Well, we will search a solution for the previous problem. And the solution is in terms of Born's interpretation and probability density. See, wave functions are usually complex with both real and imaginary parts. If that is the case, then it will be very difficult to give physical interpretation. This problem will not arise if we take square of absolute value of psi, that is modulus of psi square. And this modulus of psi square is known as probability density. See, psi is called probability, modulus of psi square is called probability density. This interpretation or explanation was first made by Max Born in 1926. Modulus of psi square is obtained by taking the product of psi and its complex conjugate psi star. That is modulus of psi square equal psi star psi. Now comes next parameter normalization. Consider a particle enclosed in a three-dimensional contour of volume V. See, this is a three-dimensional contour and a particle is trapped in this contour of volume V. Now, divide the whole contour into subdivisions, each of volume dV and make an attempt to locate this particle. So, particle, remember, is highly volatile. It is moving here and there with certain velocity. So, within each contour, let psi is the wave function. Then, the probability density over a small volume dV is modulus of psi square into dV. If you make several attempts to find the particle over the entire volume, obviously, the total value or integral value cannot be zero. At the same time, it cannot be infinity also only possibility it is equal to 1 that is integral of modulus of psi square dv equals 1 between the limit 0 to v this is known as normalization we can also write normalization in one dimension as integral of psi square dx equal to 1 between the limit 0 to x this is normalization in three dimension and you can write even in two dimension also then the limits changes from 0 to a a for surface area and normalization for a particle in open space limits will change it is from minus infinity to plus infinity what i mean to say 
this one and this one for a bound particle something like this and this is for a free particle but in all the cases RHS is equal to 1. Mechanics is one of the oldest branch of physics. It is a study of effect of force on rigid bodies. In mechanics we have Newton's laws of motion, Newton's laws of gravitation, Kepler's laws of motion, planetary motion and many more. Students, I am talking about classical mechanics, but here we have a new type of mechanics called quantum mechanics. See, in classical mechanics, the future history of the particle is completely determined by its initial position and momentum. But in the subatomic world, we do not have this luxury because of uncertainty principle. What I mean to say, in classical mechanics, if you know the value of S, that is position, you can easily make out where the particle is and if you know the velocity v then you can easily calculate momentum there is no uncertainty but it is not same in subatomic world this initiated a new approach to solve problems involving atoms and molecules such an approach was developed in 1925 by schrodinger and others and it is called as quantum mechanics here is a statement by paul dirac according to him the discovery of quantum mechanics is a total surprise which made it possible to understand a large part of physics and the whole of chemistry. Like Newton's second law of motion is a fundamental equation of Newtonian mechanics, Schrodinger equation is for quantum mechanics and it contains a variable psi. Schrodinger one dimensional equation. First of all, Schrodinger equation cannot be derived from any basic principles of physics. It is a basic principle by itself. See, in deriving this Schrodinger equation, it is assumed that potential energy of the particle is constant. What if the particle is subjected to some arbitrary forces that vary in space and time? In such case, what we have to do is postulate the equation, solve the problem and compare the results with experiment. If they don't match with the experiment, they discard the postulates. You know, fortunately, Schrodinger equation has turned out to be accurate in most of the cases. Here we go with the setting up of Schrodinger one dimensional wave equation. A progressive wave propagating along x axis is given by d square y by dx square equals 1 by v square into d square y by dt square. Students, you might have studied already this equation in waves and oscillations. This equation represents a progressive wave propagating along x-axis. This is a second order differential equation. This can be rewritten in the form of psi for a matter wave. So, y is replaced by psi. Now, I skip the steps involved in calculating the solution, solution for this equation. But the final form of the solution is psi equals a a constant into e to the power of so much. See we have i that is imaginary term. So wave function is in complex form. Anyway differentiate it twice that is d psi by dt d square psi by dt square. When you differentiate it with respect to t you get a into e to the power of i into kx minus omega t into minus i omega because we are differentiating with respect to t. If you differentiate it once again with respect to t, again you get one, one more minus i omega. So it is minus i omega whole square. Then minus i whole square is minus 1 into omega square psi. So this entire thing is psi. So finally we have d square psi divided by dt square equals minus omega square psi. Substitute d square psi by dt square in this first equation. So the equation 1 becomes d square psi by dx square that is LHS is equal to 1 divided by omega by k whole square into minus omega square psi. So RHS this term is replaced, replaced by this that is minus omega square psi. See here V is replaced by omega by k. So I should have written this as 1 by V square then 1 by omega by k whole square. I have skipped one step here. Anyway, after reshuffling the terms and doing some simple calculations, we end up with d square psi by dx square that is equal to minus 4 pi square psi divided by 1 by lambda square. 
from where this lambda comes please recall k equals 2 pi by lambda so k square is 4 pi square by lambda square so we have d square psi by dx square is equal to so much further the total energy of a particle is E that is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. So that kinetic energy equals E minus PE. Replace kinetic energy by this equation that is P square by 2M. So it is equal to E minus PE. Further, if V is the potential energy, capital V stands for potential energy, then this equation can be written as P square by 2M equals E minus V or P square equals 2M into E minus V. Replace P by de Broglie wave equation that is lambda equals h by P. So P is equal to h by lambda. Therefore we have h by lambda whole square or h square by lambda square that is equal to so much. Or transfer h square here we have 1 by lambda square equals so much. Now substitute equation 3 in equation 2 we get d square psi by dx square d square psi by dx square is equal to minus 4 pi square psi minus 4 pi square psi in place of 1 by lambda square we have so much then 4 into 2 8 and shift the whole thing to the RH, LHS sorry then d square psi by dx square plus 8 pi square m by h square into e minus v psi equal to 0 this is nothing but one dimensional wave equation one dimension because we have only x axis it is also time independent equation time independent equation because there is no t in this equation and see this equation finally contains a variable psi now i have come to the last part of this session here i will explain characteristics of wave function concept of eigen function and eigen value see Schrodinger one dimensional equation is a wave equation in the variable psi. The purpose of this equation is to get psi of xt. It tells you how the psi evolves and psi is essential for the calculation of various particle parameters. Hence, solution for Schrodinger equation in terms of psi is at most important for us. There can be many solutions to this equation but only wave equation wave functions with following properties must be considered as well behaved or proper wave functions so we need not have to consider all the solutions as wave functions we have to consider only those solutions which are satisfying the following conditions these are the conditions psi must be continuous and single valued everywhere psi you know probability of finding the particle so probability of finding the particle must be continuous and it must have only one value at a time at a place so it must be a single valued everywhere look at this illustration i have taken this person as a particle right now he is here i take it as x equal to 0 and right now probability of finding him is 1 so this is a single value if he moves like this then probability becomes 0 over here but probability becomes again 100% over here. So that is the meaning of single value. Next, suppose if the person is moving along, if the person is moving along x axis, moving along x axis, then you measure psi with respect to x. So that is dou psi by dou x. Or you can even measure psi with respect to t, dou psi by dou t. They also must be continuous and they also must be single valued everywhere. Look at this illustration. This person when he is moving, he must be seen everywhere, should not be go missing anywhere in between. See, going, missing, again appearing. Let me repeat, moving, missing, appearing. Again I repeat, moving, missing, appearing. So this is not correct. A person moving along x-axis should be appearing at each and every position. So if he is missing somewhere here, then that is not a real case at all. Next, psi must be normalizable and it should not be infinity. That means probability cannot be infinity. Well, wave function possessing all these properties is known as eigenfunction. Eigen means proper. 
and the energy value obtained by solving Schrodinger wave equation using the eigenfunction is known as eigenvalue. So eigenfunction is a proper function and eigenvalue is an expression for energy obtained using eigenfunction. So that is about wave equation, wave function, properties of wave function. Well, dear students, with this, I have come to an end of this session. I hope you enjoyed this discussion. If you have any doubts, feel free, contact me via email or you can even call me also. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please wait for my next session where I will discuss about applications of Schrodinger wave equation. Thank you once again.